Capacity crowd here at Letzegrund Stadium in Zurich. It's the men's 800 meters. Sebastian Coe owns the world record. We thought he would be in attendance tonight. Instead, he is in Chicago having an Achilles, Achilles tendon tended to. The men to watch, Jose Luis Barbosa of Brazil. He will start in lane two. Also keep your eyes on lane four, Kenya's Billy Conchella. Deep talent here. We have the number six, four, and five ranked athletes in the world right there. There you see Sam Koskai out in lane seven. There's actually going to be two people in lane seven, two in lane eight because of the crowded field. Uh, these athletes at 800 meters can handle that. Obviously, in the dashes, you don't do it. There you see out in lane five, that is William Weike from Venezuela. Lane six will have Gerd Gilbert from Switzerland. Lane seven will be occupied by two men, as I mentioned. Sam Koskai there in the red color, and Alex Giesenbauer of Switzerland will be in lane seven with him. Number 151 from West Germany is Peter Braun, and number 155, a very fine runner, Peter Elliott from Great Britain. Elliott will be the rabbit in the 800 meters. The runners to their marks. Billy Conchella. He has the fastest time in the world this year. That is Conchella, by the way, uh, just hanging back, almost like Eamon Coughlin does indoors and lets everybody else set the pace. They're going out very fast. James Mays has been the designated rabbit over here in Europe for many major races for the last four years. That is he in the lead. Texas A&M graduate, a 145, 800-meter runner. He's more in shape for running, let's say, 148. But he works out a deal financially with the race director to tow these people along. He generally runs about a lap and a half and then steps off the track. And his job is to try and tow the field to an even pace. But obviously here he has gotten a little ahead of the competition. Mays in the lead. That is in blue shorts. That is Josa Luis Barbosa from Brazil who trains up in Eugene, Oregon and goes to Lane Community College in second. William Weike is in third and wearing all white. Conchella is back up in the hunt right now. Look at the rhythmic applause of this capacity crowd. Boy, you'd love to see that happen in the United States. It is Barbosa in second place. And oh, look at Conchella coming up on the outside. May steps off the track. It's Conchella taking right over. That's Weike now moving into second place. Conchella. Best time this year for Billy, 145.92. He is one of three Kenyans participating in this year's Belt Plaza. 50.5 for the body of the runners going by 400 meters as they come down the home stretch with about 80 meters to go. It is Billy Conchella. He is beginning to lengthen that lead. And Francis Philippe Collard is running second. Sammy Kluski of Kenya looks as if he may clip third, and he does. 143.39, unofficial time. Look at how easy. I look at him just kind of glide along. That is the fastest time run in the world for 800 meters this year. And look at him. I can't believe this. He just walks over as though he went around for a stroll in the park. You've just seen a man run faster than any other human being in the world this year, and he's signing autographs within 15 seconds. Billy Conchella, one of 13 Kenyas who came to Zurich, Switzerland. Only three were invited. Two of the three finish in the top three in this race. Watch Koskai try and get up and pass four people. Look at the arm action, the smooth movement, and the speed with which he pulls away from the rest of the field. Conchella finished fourth in the Olympics, missed a medal by two tenths of a second. And look at the margin of victory. Boy, what a performance. He is ready. He knows how to peak for the major events. The what? World Championships are a week away. 20 runners this year alone, Larry, in this event have had times of 146 or better. It has been a tremendous year for the 800 meters. One of the keys, Phil, is people like Conchella are going out fast. Yes. They're running the first 400 meters faster than they've ever done. And this all started about four or five years ago with Johnny Gray, Earl Jones, and, and in some cases Sebastian Cobe also uh, instituted that. But they never used to go out that fast. It was always a 53-second first 400 meters. Well, there's the fastest time in the world in 1987 right there. 143.39 belongs to Kenya's Billy Conchella. Philippe Collard of France finishes second. Kenya's Sammy Kuski takes third. Well, with the position of the field, Conchella had to run a tactical race. And what a job he did. A very crowded track, and Conchella stuck to his game plan. When I came into this race, I knew it was going to be tough. So what I wanted to do was just hang behind and not too far and try and run a smart race. So when it went, I did exactly what I wanted to and I knew Barbosa was tough. So 
so I was watching him close by and he was closer. So I just waited until I knew it was the right time for me to move in front. When did you know to make you move? 100 years ago, the American record for 800 meters was 155. And the athletes today would beat the athletes of 100 years ago by almost 100 yards in an 800 meter race.